name is William Blackman, and I'm 95 years old. I did enjoy flying. I had a crew of eight people. I knew that we were into a, a world war. I, I felt that I owed something to my country, and uh, I knew that sooner or later th that they would call me, so rather than having to be conscripted, I volunteered. And I had the education, so I was able to go for it as a pilot. And I always wanted to fly anyway, so it was a good opportunity for me. <laughs> I think that you should know about it, but I'm not going to glamorize it for you, because it's not glamorous at all, not one damn bit. I don't consider myself extra brave, but I didn't think about it. I try to be a good citizen, that's all. I would describe myself that I'm fairly easygoing. I'm not hard to please. I like people. Yeah. I had uh, seven, 15 years uh, experience as a driver for cancer patients, and the ladies, after I got to know them, would tell me stories. I got about 50 jokes that I could tell. If you got me going, I can keep on going for about an hour telling different jokes. And I love jokes that has a twist to the punchline, a play on words or something like that. And one of my favorite jokes is Mrs. O'Flaherty. She, she won the um, Irish sweepstake and she, had, she was so elated with her good fortune that anybody that would listen, she would tell them all about it. And one morning she caught the milkman delivering milk, and she st started to talk to him about her good fortune. And then she stopped and she said, you know, I've never had a milk bath in my life. And you will be bringing me 90 quarts of milk tomorrow morning. And the milkman says, yes, ma'am, and will that be pasteurized? And she says, no, no, up to my chest will be just fine. <laughs>